So I'm not sure if this is particularly in the order I should be doing it, but the next section I am personally doing is basically work. It's my jewellery making that I do, as I said, for my main work. I also do a lot of writing. I'm a freelance writer, but my main one is jewellery. So I have this massive IKEA box which is full of my supplies. And then these are pre-made things, excuse my daughter's bumbo trailer. Um, that I want to go through because some don't sell anymore, some um, I just want to get rid of and or break down something like that. I've got a carrier bag to give things charity, one for rubbish, and then just another bag of like my table props and stuff. So I know I'm probably not supposed to be doing this, but as I've been going through what I want to keep, I've also been um, some of these I've changed the. Oh, like the charms on them and these are changed the actual chains on them as I said I'm probably not supposed to be doing that but it's just easier for me to be able to get a whole box sorted and put away because it's my work stuff and well I can't use my desk that's in my bedroom because our daughter has gone to bed and it's pushing 11 so yeah I haven't got the room on you know, the sofa so starting with the work clear out from the two nine later boxes, um, two of these, a couple of other boxes, I am literally down to two of these. Um, it will grow because I do plan to make more, well it's not even two of these actually, when you look at it it's one and a half. There will be more because I'll be planning on making new products. I've also got new stands coming because I've completely rebranded and then I've got this basket just there that's got some gifts in that I know people have said they liked but they're not going to be items I'm going to sell anymore so I've just popped them in little bags you can probably see I go walking in the background um, so I've just popped them in and that's fine if you can hear them uh, so I've just popped them in bags and boxes just to be able to give to my girlfriends when I see them next. Moving on to just some of my general um, supplies this was like my ribbons and my cords now this box used to be full, this is the bag of all the stuff that was in there and I am choosing to keep just some red cord for a Valentine's Day idea I have for next year, some cream ribbon, organza ribbon, not organza sorry, satin ribbon for something for our daughter's naming ceremony. Keeping this because there's something in the bedroom I want to re-thread, there's a flute in the corner this bullion wire, I used to do a lot of projects with, I'd like to do something in the bedroom with that. If I haven't done it by the end of the year, obviously I will give that away, probably to my mum who does a lot of crafting too. And then I have this sparkly elastic because I'm going to make a slip cover, I suppose you could say, for both my project life and also my Erin Conrad planner. So I've got one of the black boxes pretty much done, so I've got my cord, ribbons and bullion wire in the back then just some charms for my personal use and then these are some lucite beads that I'd use together as well as some square beads I'd use together and the findings for the lucite beads my tools and then these because I wear a select amount of colours personally so my red beads pearls, white and clear, um, black, well greys and silvers, blacks and then this pile at the bottom are some, oops, excuse the weather, are some, I'm trying to think, what, spike beads and then on top is a bead set for my friend's birthday and also a cousin's birthday and this box is exactly the same but this is more my work beads so blues, purples, I've tried to keep a lot in colours, these are charms, these are skull beads, spike beads, greens, um, sort of or um, AB, black ABs, or borealis, um, orange, pinks, um, yellows and clears. Here I'm putting my main um, bead cafe beads, just keeping them in the strands. I've got some wire and chain in the back but I might move that into a different box. So hopefully you can see that's with the string beads in 
and it's coming up for one o'clock in the morning so I'm pretty much gonna call it a night because I'm just so tired. The there's a yago. Um but yeah this is another box done. So so far I've got it down to I don't know if you can see two of these large boxes and then just this one box for all my findings. So I've got three of excuse the coffee table, it's still a mess. Um, oh, by the way, this is um, the next morning and I started at seven and now it's nine. Um, and I've got these three boxes, so it took me an hour. Um, my daughter's fully woken up, I'm going to be playing, so I'm going to take a break from doing this because I've still got like, things to take apart. As I said, I know it's probably... Oh, they're all falling off the table now. It's probably not what I'm supposed to be doing with this method, but if I don't, if I just leave them as in a to-do pile, they won't get done because in this box here I've got some broken jewellery and stuff that I want to take apart and they've been there for months. Um, I could say it's because I have a five month old but it's no real excuse to be honest so I really want to get this properly tackled today. I finally finished organising my beads, it did take me two days but I too have a five month old and I'm not very well at the moment so I think that's pretty good. Uh, I just, this afternoon I finished taking apart the jewellery that I didn't want from work anymore, sorted that out, obviously I've got all my findings in here. These are still empty but I'm not going to throw them away because I've got to sort out my craft collection yet and I'll see if I can use them there, if not I'll probably give them to my mum because I know she loves that sort of boxes for her craft supplies. But yeah. All finished and I'm so pleased.